Hello guys and welcome back to DB Pilot on BB Girl Vlogs. So I already filmed this video and I deleted it accidentally. I didn't mean to. Um, so now I'm going to film the video. So what I'm doing in this week's video is I'm going to be doing the world's smallest hermit crab cage. So in this little small container, not that big, um, I'm going to put two hermit crabs in here or when I'm like, you know, um, cleaning out their cage I can put them both in here. So I'm going to put in some bedding. Uh, there used to be, um, sprinkles in there. You can see rainbow sprinkles, but, um, we used all the sprinkles and now I just have it in an empty container, which they're going to use. So I have their bedding out already and this is actually really small because you see the size of this bag? That's the size of the regular tank. Compare this with the bag. That's really small compared. I mean, come on. That's really small. So we're going to put it in their bedding, and I will see you guys right when I finish putting their bedding in. All right, guys. So I finished putting their bedding in. And just letting you know, guys, if, guys, anyone, if anyone wants to know, it's called Aspen Bedding. And it can be used for sp small animals, dribbles, hamsters, um, and all others. Um, also much large animals, skinny pigs, rabbits, birds, birds and reptiles. So this will, is good for repti reptiles because they're a reptile. All right, I filled it up pretty good um, for so they can like dig into it because um, Tiny really loves to dig into it. Um, Cameron just likes it in the log. But yeah, here's it so far. And then now I'm going to close the top. Or let's see if it leaks. Nope, it does not leak. All right, so now I'm going to go inside, and I will see you guys when i back inside putting some food in there and then maybe putting, like, a rock in there. We're going to go actually go find a rock real quick and then put it in there, and then I'll be right back, guys. So, boom. Okay, guys, so I found a rock right about here. Really tiny, so we're going to open this up real quick. And we're going to add the rock in there. Um, your bedding's kind of like falling over a little bit, but that's their rock at the top. And then I'm going to go inside now, so I'll see you guys inside. Okay, guys, so I am back inside. Now it is food time. I don't know why I'm like, I don't know why I'm doing that. So we're going to have, put some grapes in there, or a grape. <laughs> um, I, they still have their rock right there, so... That's good. All right, so we're gonna grab one grape from here. And this looks like a juicy one, so we're just gonna put it that one right next to her there. And I'll probably add one more just if they don't want to eat like separate. They want to eat separate food, so yeah. All right now, I'm gonna go put the top back on, and I will go put these um, guys maybe a toy in here. Um, we'll make a DIY toy. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to do in this video, but um, I will soon. And I'm going to see you guys and put them in there. So bye. Alright guys, so I actually realized something. I need to make them breathing holes, so I will do that real quick. Alright guys, so let me turn the light on real quick. Okay, so I did some holes so you guys can't see that when you open the top. So I did some a, a lot of holes, actually, I can see. Uh, you can see I did a lot of holes. Um, I wanted them to breathe really, really well. So I'm going to put the tap back on, and then here is their normal tank. I want to take a good glance of that. The camera will focus. Okay, good. So, yeah. All right, and then I'm going to go get another sponge. So, I have another sponge I can, you know, really do. So, let me be right back. All right, guys. So, I just put a sponge in. Um, the rest of the sponge is in there, actually. So, I have the rest of the thing. So, anyway. Um, all right. So, yeah. This is what I have. So, I'm going to put them in the cage. And then I will get back to you guys when I'm done. So, bye.